What is up everyone? Tis I, Z Gaming Guy. I just punched the mic, ignore that. So I didn't know that Super Mario Maker 2, like a direct was going on, but you guys sure as hell let me know. <laughs> and you made it very clear that you wanted to know my thoughts on it and everything. So I figured we'll just watch it together. Um, I'm sure most of you have already seen this, I have not. So we'll, I'll watch it for this first time and I'll give my little thoughts at the end. And it looks like it's, this is a pretty long video, so buckle yourselves in. We're going to start right into this right now. And I'm probably going to be pausing it throughout and, you know, oh, yeah. checking stuff out. Luigi, my man. You're, you're more creative than Mario. Look at that. Yeah. Look at that diagonal <laughs> shape. Mario does yeah. Well, he's jealous. He does, you, know, you make it make a Goomba oh, dick, hey, right? Hey. That didn't really flow well, did it? In Super Mario Maker 2, you can create the Super Mario courses of your dreams. And play courses created by other people from around the globe. Mm -hmm. Oh god, In other that looks awful. You can basically have new Super Mario courses to <laughs> enjoy every day. Now, let's jump right into the basics. I like how they put in that Giga Bowser. No, Mega Bowser. Mega Bowser ribs. Lay some groundwork. Thank you. Pick from iconic enemies and objects, like blocks, coins, Goombas, and pipes. This is very and basic so far. anywhere you like. You decide what goes inside blocks, and where warp pipes should take Mario next. And that's just the tip of the goal pole. Okay, I will say this, something that would be nice is if the pipes don't have to go to uh, the other world, subworld. You know what I mean? It'd be cool if it can go somewhere within the same, you know, normal place or same subworld or whatever. Also, another thing that'd be pretty cool is if in the subworld you can have a different aesthetic. So this one could be New Super Mario Maker, whereas the other one could be like Super Mario Maker Two or something. I feel like that'd be kind of cool. So don't know if that how hard that'd be for them, but just saying, I'd like that. You can oh, red pipes. Enemies. Stack them up high. You guys have to let me know if. With a super Whoa, hold on. You guys have to let me know if red pipes like do anything special. Stack them hold up on. high. Did I miss it? And no, it's coming. What is this? I don't know if my mouse is showing on screen. This little fucking derpy ass Goomba. I, again, <laughs> I'm not like the biggest Mario expert here. Um, so I couldn't even guess what like his abilities are. Like my first thought is like the thing on his head spins and it can somehow kind of float a bit. I don't know though. Um, the umbrella intrigues me too, but With we'll see if they explain that more. Hide coins and pipes and so much more by combining a variety. Oh yeah, that's that, that looks fun. Jesus. <laughs> possible in regular Super Mario games. Taking a course you're working on for a test drive is a snap, allowing for rapid fire experimentation. You can change the course theme, whether it's underground, underwater, castle, your choice. Even the game style itself can be altered with options like Super Mario Brothers, Super Mario Brothers 3, and Super Mario World. Super Mario World. Complete a course, and if you have a Nintendo Switch Online membership, you can share it with other players. Well, if they added Super Mario, Super Mario courses are meant 64 play, style. So share yours with the Ooh, world. hold on, hold on. I know this is gonna take forever if I pause all the fucking time. But these spike things, uh, those are gonna, those are good, those are good, those are good. I mean, it's pretty much like a single-use thwomp when you think about it. Like you, it doesn't just repeat itself. Uh, oh, another thing that'd be cool is the shifting floors, you know? So share yours I can't remember if they sewed that new trailer. Oh, new. Okay, cool. This is what we were looking Time for. Time to showcase some of this game's new tools, course parts, and Oh, features. God. Just pick a direction and set the length to create a slope. Apparently, everyone is freaking out about the slope bit. Gentler slopes are an option, too. <laughs> But I'm a pleb. Everyone's greatest fear, angry yeah. sun, is here. It holds a perpetual grudge, following and attacking Mario. Oh god. Remember the snake block? 
You can determine its trajectory by free There's gonna be some drawing. good trolls with this and one. Woo, the blue one's really fast. Hit an on off switch. This is huge. This is what I'm most excited for. You'd be surprised how many uses there are. If you use them wisely, you can set up traps like this one. Or even create a situation like this. That was a pretty good use of Change it there. tracks. Oh, I forgot about that. Change directions. God, there's gonna be some crazy Two ass panga to levels left too. To right under Mario's weight. Do enemies affect that? For risky tilt centric courses like this one. Well, we'll be tilting, all right. Let it grab you. What? Build momentum, then jump. I've never Mario seen that. Mario can even use these to send himself flying. <laughs> oh my Bet God. Even make a crane game. Oh. In this course theme, you can freely set the water level. Maybe half the course should be underwater. Oh, or so the hollow the one. Water level should change over time. Right, is where it rises. You can select from three and different base speeds. level. And water isn't the only thing you can flood a course with. Oh Jesus! This side scroller is truly customizable, right down to the scrolling itself. In a custom scroll course, you can decide where you want the scroll to start, adjust its trajectory, and set the speed oh, that's at cool. each point. The result is nice and smooth while you're playing. You could have it go up here, then go sideways. Hey, that's fast. I like that. You can now create vertical sub areas. Of course, the auto scroll feature operates vertically in here. So, to hide an area. Okay, hold on. <clears throat> this vertical scroll though, I wonder, are we going to have like the same length as we always do vertically or is it going to like kind of flip it like we say, "Okay, we're going vertical." And let's say Cool, here's like the horizontal length, but vertically. Uh, because if it's just a standard vertical length, then that's a short ass level. But I like the concept. Yeah, from view and prevent scrolling from revealing it, create a solid line of blocks perpendicular to the scroll direction. And voila, secret room. That's cool. I'm glad they're thinking about that. Bonsai Bill looks like it's coming for Mario, because it is. You can select <laughs> from the four cardinal directions. The red ones have a homing function. Watch oh jeez! Oh Jesus! Even lava doesn't phase <laughs> the dry bone shell. Play dead for a sec, and you'll be temporarily invincible. Wow. The ten coin is worth yep ten coins. <gasps> Gasp! Find hard to reach areas and tempt players. Isn't that like to unlock you checkpoints now? Use the thirty or fifty coin. Mario may just be strolling along. Jesus. A sudden sound effect plays. There are a bunch in Super Mario Maker 2. Stick so many jump scares. Or perhaps go with something more sinister. <laughs> Pass a Joy-Con controller to a co -op? and you can create a course together okay. on a single screen. Is it just create or can a we play? Creative collaboration goes a long way. Collect 50 coins. Defeat all the drivers. Oh, that's cool. Reach the goal as Super Mario. You can set clear conditions, and there are a wide range to choose from. Okay, hold on. That's gonna be I I had no idea that was a thing. That's gonna be huge. So like it it makes it I mean they already have things like that. Well, not exactly in the first one, but you have like costume checks or you know, power up checks. Um where you like have to break a brick to get through so they're making sure you have it to that point however there's always that risk of cheese somewhere in there but with with this though this is much better you know like now that you can't really cheese it you have to <laughs> you have to meet this condition so i mean obviously like if let's say you have to get to the end big um and there is like a, a block check anyway you could still make a buy and do it like that, I guess, somehow. But uh, this is good, though. And, like, especially, like, with the enemy things, like, you have to find and hunt this many things. Assuming they don't respawn. I'm guessing they don't, then. Like, if you, you know, go through doors and shit. From enemies to allies to items, a twister will suck up anything. Unsuspecting oh, passersby will fall victim to the icicle. Hey, conveyor belts can go diagonal, too. Did you know Red Yoshis breathe fire? Parachutes slow down the falling speed of anything attached to them. Watch out <laughs> for Boom Boom. The Mad Lad will chase after you, swinging his arms and legs. And there's still more to discover. 
If you're not sure how to use something, try out story mode. Story? What? In story mode, Mario sets out to help rebuild Princess Peach's castle. And to do so, he'll face an entire game's worth of courses in search of coins. Nani? Find the taskmaster to accept a job from the bulletin board and play the associated course. If Mario can clear the course, he'll earn coins as a reward. Hey, rebuilding a castle ain't cheap. There are more than 100 original courses crafted by Nintendo in story mode, showcasing a variety of tools, course parts, and features. As you play, you'll see many examples oh, of God, course design. As the castle's reconstruction progresses, Mario will be able to reach more areas in and around the construction site. Jesus, the fucking dogs barking. In these new areas may even offer up additional jobs. Sorry, I had to get my dog the stink eye. <laughs> New sequel, new course themes, desert. Okay, I was wondering this. This, this music, though. Snow. Does the snow play a factor, though? Forest. I, I am partial to the forest. And sky. There's new music, too, written by veteran Super Mario composer Koji Kondo. Who else could capture the classic sound of the Super Mario series? I feel like something we're gonna do We've first. Also got a new course part that makes these course themes even more fun. The moon. Tap this icon here and day becomes night. If you hit the angry sun, Mario will lose a life. But if you hit the moon, you'll wipe out a screen full of enemies. Oh. Oh moon, God. Expect a surprise or two. What? Depending on the theme. In the ground theme, Goombas will float. The underground will turn upside down. What? In a ghost house, the lights will dim. I like that. It's cool. And in the sky, gravity itself will be reduced. <laughs> what? The desert oh my will god. The sandstorm, while the terrain of the snow theme will become okay. really slippery. Okay, that's what I was asking. And the forest's usually pleasant waters will be as poisonous as they come. Rumor has it that some items will even transform into something else come night. Oh, jeez. Like, haunts you. Once unlock the night versions of themes, you don't have to place the moon course part to use them. That... Okay. Well, okay, there's a lot of shit being thrown here. And we're, like, halfway through. <laughs> the, um, that moon stuff just opened up so many doors. Oh, God. Like, there's so many ideas just flowing into my head right now. I'm actually excited to make courses in this. So when we, when this first comes out, I'm going to get this out of the way because it's hard to interject in this. When this first comes out, I think it, assuming I assuming I get it, I keep I keep assuming I'm going to have this, but uh, that's a lot of money I got to save up that I can't. Um, but assuming I do have it, I'd want to start off with a story mode kind of and just burn through that in a stream like it'll probably take more than one stream but we'll see i guess we'll see how hard they are probably not very hard uh but i i also kind of want to do a stream and i if, assuming they don't like make it annoying to get the stuff uh i i get why they give you bits at a time kind of in this first one i if you didn't know when you go to create a level you don't just have everything at the beginning you have to like place x amount of items um and then they'll be like oh we're going to deliver some more to you tomorrow and uh it's really stupid like I, I wish it was just all there from the beginning or at least story progression affects that but we might have to delve into that quite the a bit 3d world game style is finally available the way this game style works is very different from the other game styles so okay. the course you're working on will clear if you toggle between them that's because there are things you can do here that you can't do in any other style you can't mention super Mar okay Hold on. Working on will clear if you toggle between them. That's because there are things you can do. He has no hat, by the way. What is this? What is that block in the bottom left? That's like a hole. Is it? It's not, it's not a donut, right? No, I don't you think so. Do um, there's a. I'm get, just assuming that's a key coin. I don't know what the bell does. Any other style. All right. Okay. This is what I'm curious about right here. Pipsqueak. I don't know any of these goddamn things. I mean, I know the prana plant and the thwomp and the hammer guy, but what is this tooth thing here? What is this? And this and a bee and a pink plant? 
Okay, that's all pretty standard. Uh, that he's in a goat cart, and this Bowser is like a fucking leopard or something. Are these bo- are these bosses? These look like <gasps> what's that one in the bottom right? I think that might be one of the ones I really was really wanting. One of the old bosses, I think. I don't know what the bottom one and the bottom left one is though. Meowzer. God, I just realized his name. That's awful. Okay. There's the big uh big bullet that shoots you no matter what. The track, a crate. Interesting. The on and off switch. I don't know what that bottom right one is. Or the one under the bill. Tin Super Mario. I'm just I'm totally ignoring her, I'm sorry. I'm just curious. Okay, I'm just gonna keep playing. 3D world without Cat Mario. Climbing walls, scratching, sliding, pouncing. Wow. Jeez, this one seems overpowered. Disposal, the courses you create will instantly stand apart from courses made in the other game styles. You can even climb up the goal pole. <laughs> These clear pipes can be placed in any shape you like. Be careful, though. Enemies will make use of them as well. Oh, jeez. Crates float on water and lava, so you can make your own path when there's no platform to walk on. Okay, so it floats, floats. If you come in contact with a warp box, you won't be able to escape its pull. You may get warped to an area full of enemies. Okay. Better not touch the spike block. You could combine it with the on-off switch to set traps like this one, too. Oh, my God. The exclamation mark block extends when hit. Ground pound to expand it faster. Blinking blocks phase in and out. Make sure to carefully time those jumps. What mode is this, Amara? Can you not wall jump in this? Any path you draw. The blue one won't move until you step on it. The mushroom trampoline yields a satisfying bounce. The piranha creeper will extend wherever you draw. Oh my god. Watch out for That's so stressful. Stem. And it goes back in. Skip squeaks like to try and match Mario's jumps. <laughs> Little shitheads. your advantage. Take this sweet ride for a spin to really tear through the court. What? Oh god. Speed runs. I'm so scared. Beware the Lord of Lava. That. This monster's obsessed with gobbling up Mario. That is not what I was thinking, but it's fucking cool. Onto the scene. This ninja's mastered the art of a doppelganger. Uh, which one's the real one? This is the one with the green. From Super Mario 3D World can actually fly toward the screen. It's so powerful it can break through walls. Many other familiar faces from Super Mario 3D World will liven up this game style as well. Oh, okay. Oh, Jesus. Meowser. God damn it. <laughs> course World is an online hub where players from around the world can share their carefully crafted courses. This is where it's at. Browse by popular courses. Or new courses. Or run a search to find what you're looking for. <gasps> for example. Yes. Okay. So you can take out a particular region, which is nice. You can look for specific game styles, course themes, and difficulty. Piss. Okay. I don't see. Oh, tags. There's tags below. Search by tags. Like. <sighs> yes. They're adding everything that you want. I hope that there's more than just these. Standard. Puzzle solving, which is cool. Never doing speed run, tell you that much. Auto scroll, auto Mario. Oh, probably like you don't don't move levels. Short and sweet multiplayer versus what? Themed music, none. Where's troll? Let's be real. Troll <laughs> trolls are some of the best ones when done right. Puzzle solving. Or maybe so, okay, I can't. Okay, I can't help but wonder if these. Different colored pipes are simply aesthetic things. Or if this has something to do with um, which one you go through. Also, is that is that float? No, no, no. He hit a P-switch that fell. 
What's with that white piece switch though? Is that just did I just pause it at a good time? Like puzzle solving. Oh no, it was, yeah. It was just a good time. Comments are back. Play a course, and you can leave a comment if they're enabled. Oh. But you can't post like your own things. Probably because people are swearing too much. <laughs> if you download a course, you can play it any time, even when you're not connected to the internet. In Course World, each player has a Maker profile. If other players like your courses, you'll earn Maker points. But on top of being successful, why not be stylish? Customize your look with things like shirts and hats that you unlock by completing various objectives. Test your skills by trying to clear as many courses as possible before you get a game over. Select wow. the difficulty, and courses will be queued up at random from the full collection available so this... in Course World. Secure some truly impressive scores, and you might earn a top spot on the leaderboards. Wow! On top of that, okay. there's a new mode in Super Mario Maker 2 that'll let you play together with others. No. No way. No. In Course World, yeah. you can enjoy multiplayer oh. with other players from around Bounce the world. Bounce off their heads. Oh my god, In you guys. In multiplayer versus mode, up to four players face off in a side-scrolling showdown. Each player will be assigned a different character. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Then they'll race each other in a randomly selected course. The player who clears the course first wins. Depending on your win-loss ratio, your versus rating will change. It's it's competitive. No like there's a rank a play to it. Course like this one. Watch so once you're out, you're out. Your dust as you escape an extreme obstacle. Oh no, they respawn. Okay. But when a boss comes around, you may want to put your differences aside. Maybe you can get away with sitting back and stealing all. So what I can't help but oh, this little this little bitch. What I can't help but wonder is like if you die, let's say at the very beginning level, and they move forward like ten seconds unhindered, do you spawn up there with them? Because that's kind of like then why even do the level until the very end? You know what I mean? Or uh, do you like do you all have to stay on the same screen? I wonder. Or can you uh, be away from them? All the credit at the end. During multiplayer, there are strategies to consider oh, that would wow. never come up during solo play. <laughs> In multiplayer co-op mode, on the other hand, all players must work together to beat the course. If a single player finishes it, everyone's a winner. If up to four players Looking are good, hanging Oliver. out together and each has a Nintendo Switch system and the Super Mario Maker 2 game, one can set up a virtual room for the others to join via nearby play. Only the player who makes the room needs a persistent internet connection for everyone to play. You won't be rated in this mode, but you can check out the standings. By the way, if you've designed a course with versus Get play wrecked, in mind, Lewis. consider using the multiplayer versus tag. It's a great way to help players who love to battle it out find what you've made. Jesus. I know I'm being kind of quiet, but I'm getting I'm blown away by this. There's so Jesus Christ. So much more than I was expecting. New parts. Fucking Mauser, I can't. New challenges. New modes. And lots of new ways to have fun. Super Mario Maker 2 will come down the pipe on June 28th. If you're interested in pre-purchasing Super Mario Maker 2, we've got a couple promotions for you to consider. First, okay. there's the Super Mario Maker 2 plus Nintendo Switch Online Bundle, which is available as both a physical and digital release and includes a 12-month individual membership for Nintendo Switch Online. If you're already a Nintendo Switch Online member, is that essential? these 12 months will stack on or your Or is that just to membership. play with people? Second, if you have a paid Nintendo Switch Online membership, there's a way to pre-purchase Super Mario Maker 2 at a discount that's exclusive to members. The Nintendo Switch Game Vouchers Special Offer. Paid Nintendo Switch Online members can buy a pair of Nintendo Switch Game Vouchers for just $99.99. Mm -hmm. Just 99 tell me, it's a gaming guy, but you get it for free, for right? Eligible digital game. <laughs> Choose from some of your favorite Nintendo Switch titles. For example, redeem one voucher to pre-purchase Super okay, Mario looks Maker 2. Okay, like, looks like it's just a bunch of mumbo jumbo after this that I don't care about. Okay. Oh, wow. Um, there's a lot in this game. <laughs> like, 
and you you might be impressed with the first Super Mario Maker with how much people can do with you know what's there, which which it is to, to be fair. Like um, I still watch Carl Sagan from time to time, and you know there's text and stuff in there that I'm like, how are people still figuring this out? <laughs> you know, and this has so much more. But the big thing is uh, a lot of different modes. So it's not like, okay, let's do Super Expert again or play your levels. That's essentially it. That's all you can really do. Like, you obviously you can look for specific levels, but um, someone like me who's not super big isn't going to, like, know about them until I see them from a different video. But I don't want to be like, I'm going to steal all these <laughs> cool levels and play them myself. So... Uh, the the tags and stuff are gonna make a huge difference and that was definitely one of the biggest like desires i'd say for myself personally and i think for a lot of people but almost everything that i was hoping for is in here um i, I can't believe there's co-op too so like like i said it, if i get this game which I, I do really want it now like i'm actually excited for it because, uh, like I said, there's so much variety that, like, you're not going to get bored doing the same stupid thing over and over again. Like, you can decide, oh, I want to do, like, a multiplayer this day, or a co-op, or I just want to do troll levels, or I want to do puzzle levels, or the story mode more, whatever. You know what I mean? Like, this can this is going to entertain you for much longer, I feel, than this first Super Mario Maker, because I just couldn't play that anymore. I was like, I can't. It's the same damn thing. Um, so, like... If I get this though, like I said, I want to start off probably with the story mode and try to burn through that as quick as possible. Um, and then fiddle around in the creating mode and see what, what's going on in there. And like, I, it'd be nice if it was on stream so that we could kind of collaborate to make a level together. And then kind of like slowly do challenges in there. Like, uh, you know, like I said, just puzzle levels or just this or whatever. And I'm also interested in that whole endless one where there is no limit. You just play until you lose all your lives, which is a really good concept. I didn't even think of that. Uh, that's a really good idea, though. So, man, like, and, and that's cool, though, because you can always strive to do better than before. You know what I mean? Like, with the current super expert, you either beat it or you don't. I mean, you could say, like, oh, I'll beat it with X amount of lives still, at least. But it's so <laughs> random on what kind of levels you can get. Like, you can be like, oh, this is super easy, and then fucking ping a level all of a sudden. I mean, sure, you could skip it, theoretically, but, like, you know, if you're challenging yourself to do it with so many lives, you're probably also telling yourself you can't skip. Um, which would be kind of cool if this Endless Challenge did the same thing. It forced you to not skip. I think that'd be good, personally. Otherwise, people can kind of, like, uh, you know, play around that a bit and cheese it, I'd say. Because there are some super expert levels that feel like expert, you know, at best. And then there's some super expert that feel like fucking impossible. <laughs> um, but that's cool. Like, I I'm sure someone's going to get some insane number of, like, 330 fucking super expert levels beaten with that single run or something. It's going to be insane. <sighs> Man, it's good. Uh, they did a good job here. I I'm very proud of you. Except it's on the fucking Switch, and I'm really upset about that. Because <laughs> if it was just the game, I could manage buying a $60 game. But plus the Switch, which I think is like 300 Oof. That's going to be rough, man. And my camera died. That's okay. Well, I I'm pretty much done with the video. I just, uh, you know... We'll kind of see how it goes. And I've, I've been saying this whole time, like, I, I don't want to put up a Patreon unless i'm uploading videos regularly so that way i'm at least doing something <laughs> to deserve any kind of income from you guys um but it is really tempting to like open it up just to see if someone wants to understanding the circumstances you know what i mean oh i'm so torn i'm so torn i know what you guys are going to say <laughs> if i ask you the question but like my pride it, it hurts it pains me Okay, you know what? After sitting here, contemplating for a bit, I get I. I'll open my I'll open my Patreon. And I'll put it in the description to this video. So if you want to help go towards 
get, getting this, um, the switch in this game, you can there. So if, if not, don't worry, it's fine. Like, I almost <laughs> don't want people to do it, you know what I mean? But at the same time, like, a lot, many of you were saying this would be a good opportunity for the channel, and it actually looks pretty exciting. So I'll open it up, and unfortunately, though, because I'm an idiot and didn't just do this sooner, it's almost June already, so we only really have one or two, uh, you know, basically Patreon charges you monthly. So one or two, like, charges to get this the day one. I'm not really sure how it works it, but, you know, we'll see. I'll keep it open. Um, so if you want to help, you can. If not, totally cool. Even if it's like a dollar or whatever, you know, everything helps. So anyway, if you made it to the end, thank you for having a pretty good attention span. <laughs> but hopefully you're excited for this and uh, hopefully I didn't ramble too long for you. But I will see you when I do.